Welcome everyone, I'm Spiro, thanks for tuning in, and congratulations, because if you are watching this video, that means you have officially survived the first half of 2020. And something tells me that the second half of this year is going to be just as crazy, if not more crazy, than the first half was. Now, in this report, I wanted to share with you a glimpse of what the not-too-distant future may look like. Now, yes, some of this information will be speculation, but it's speculation projecting forward based on the facts that we have today. Now, I'd like to start off by sharing a couple-minute segment from a popular children's TV show on Netflix called Stretch Armstrong. Now, in my view, this clip is one of the most accurate depictions of a future we may be faced with as reality sooner than we might think. Charter City is stunned by the sudden rollout of Rook Unlimited's most fantastic device ever. The Smart Mark. Throw your other devices away because the Smart Mark is more than just a phone. It's part of you. Use it as cash. Book your travel. And even shoot video. Distribution points are all over the city. And don't let the lines discourage you. The Rook Unlimited Smart Mark is worth the wait. I never realized how wonderful technology could make me feel. The Smart Mark has brought order to my life. And the best part? It's absolutely free. A gift of thanks to our city from Rook Unlimited. 23% of the population has been given the smart mark, number one. Time to test our system, number six. The Flex Fighters are out there somewhere. Teaming up with Jonathan Rook, let's put our new recruits to work. Subtly. We should find the Flex Fighters. We ought to find the flex fighters. We should find the flex fighters. We should find the flex fighters. We should find the flex fighters. Growing up in this city, in the streets of Old Town, I saw the worst mankind had to offer chaos, disorder. I vowed to make it all change, to make it all better. All these years working in secret, rising up the ranks of the tech men. It was all leading to this day. Order has finally been established in Charter City. No child will have to fear for their safety again. The people owe you the greatest of debts, number one, for liberating them from the chaos of their lives. <laughs> you guys love new tech. You didn't want to get smart marked? <laughs> no way. That's clearly some shady biz. Who wants to be... You call yourself a man of science. World order is our destiny. Submit to a smart mark and join the glorious victory of order over chaos. Oh, you will be eliminated. Ah, uh, yes, the smart mark. Seems pretty far-fetched, huh? Or is it? It actually might not be as far-fetched as you may think. In fact, much of this technology is already in development and is getting ready to be rolled out as we transition from this current system of control into the new digitalized system of control, which will be the cherry on top of the international surveillance state. Now, this new digitalized system of control was highlighted in my recent report about the World Economic Forum's Great Reset, which incorporates the Fourth Industrial Revolution, one of the most important reports I have done. Now, the Great Reset is an initiative launched by the World Economic Forum and is supported by the United Nations, the central banks, the mega corporations, and the governments. Essentially, the entire establishment is all on board with this agenda to usher in this new system of control, which is, of course, justified by the coronavirus pandemic, which is, of course, going to be blamed for the economic crisis and the ensuing civil unrest and the coming uh, food shortages. Now, these are all w their words. They have stated this, not me. The COVID-19 crisis has shown us that our old systems are not fit anymore for the 21st century. It has laid bare the fundamental lack of social cohesion, fairness, inclusion, and equality. Now is the historical moment, the time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system for the need for the post-corona era. We have a choice to remain passive, which would lead to, an, to the amplification of many of the trends we see today. Polarization, nationalism, racism, and ultimately increased social unrest and conflicts. But 
We have another choice. We can build a new social contract, particularly integrating the next generation. We can change our behavior to be in harmony with nature again. And we can make sure that the technologies of the fourth industrial revolution are best utilized to provide us with better lives. In short, we need a great reset. So the Netflix kids show Stretch Armstrong starts off with what is essentially a digital tattoo. Now, digital tattoos have been in the works for years and have been said to have the potential to revolutionize the healthcare industry. For example, Microsoft partnered with MIT on a digital tattoo project which had many different uses. And now, digital tattoos can be used to track patients' health status, they can be used to access people's smartphones, people's social media accounts, and it can even be used for cashless payments. All of this as the U.S., China, and many of the world's central banks and governments are ready to roll out their own central bank digital currencies as we approach the coming cashless society. Now, recently, we learned of another Gates Foundation-funded program, again in partnership with MIT, for the Quantum Dot Tattoo, which could be used to track who has been vaccinated. Now, Gates also came out recently and said there needs to be a digital vaccine certificate to keep track of who has been vaccinated, something unsurprisingly was endorsed by Dr. Tony Fauci. Now, this could very easily and very likely be incorporated into immunity passports, which are ready to be rolled out in 15 different countries, including the United States, the UK, Canada, Mexico, and several others. Now, all of this, of course, could be tied into yet another Gates-backed project in partnership with the United Nations in ID2020 under the UN's Sustainable Development Goal 16.9 to provide every man, woman, and child a digital ID, including birth registration. So it is very clear we are moving towards a new system where everything and everyone will be incorporated into this new digitalized system of control, where everything about you, every aspect of your life will be digitalized and centralized and controlled essentially by the establishment. And this is where the social credit scores will also really play a major role in shaping your decisions. So am I saying we're all going to have to get a tattoo that will contain all your information or will it be a microchip? Well, no, not necessarily. But when it gets to the point that Michigan, the state of Michigan, has to pass a bill providing a clear distinction that being microchipped could not be forced and has to be voluntary, we're probably not that far off. And it doesn't have to necessarily even be a tattoo or a microchip. After all, uh, that may be too invasive and it may be met with resistance, right? So it could come in many other forms. It could also be all incorporated onto your smartphone. It, it likely will, but it will also likely include some form of biometric technology such as fingerprints or facial recognitions. So going back to the Netflix children's show, the smart mark is rolled out suddenly uh, by an evil villain. And the ultimate objective of the smart mark is mind control. Now surely that part of the show must be too far fetched, right? Well, as crazy as this sounds, no. Uh, mind control is not too far-fetched, at least not for the U.S. government who conducted secret experiments on mind control like MKUltra. Mind control wasn't too far-fetched for the scientists who conducted experiments on mice and rats by implanting chips in their brains or having a brain interface. And that kind of reminds me of Elon Musk's Neuralink project, where he aims to literally implant microchips and wires into human brains, and with an end goal of integrating artificial intelligence into humans. You know, a monkey has been able to control the computer with its brain. Just, yeah. This is a penny. It's pretty small, right? It's roughly the same size as the tip of my thumb. Now, zooming in extremely close, this right here is the needle that will be inserted into your skull. Placing it beside a penny, you actually couldn't see it. As the robot inserts each thread one by one, at the end, there could eventually be up to 10,000 of these electrodes inside your head, each responsible for recording separate neurons which can later on be analyzed. But not only can they read data from your brain, they can also input data as well. It's a two-way street. It's sort of like being able to upload and download things from your brain. This project is essentially part of the World Economics uh, Forum's fourth industrial revolution, where these social engineers decide 
and dictate the future of humanity for us. They openly talk about merging man with machine. This is a transhumanist agenda being rolled out by the technocrats. I know this sounds crazy, and I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it for myself. And I rarely ever ask you guys to do anything, but right now I'm going to ask everyone. After you finish watching this report, please search Fourth Industrial Revolution on YouTube, or click the link in the description, and you will find the official World Economic Forum's own video on the Fourth Industrial Revolution talking about merging man with machine. You will hear them talk about gaining access to people's thoughts and emotions and building a construct for them to safely operate and think in. This is the definition of mind control. One of the things that I think is so essential to free and open societies is freedom of thought. Um, and up until now, the conversation we've been having is around freedom of speech. Once we can access people's thoughts and access people's emotions, um, we have to create a space that enables people to think freely, to think divergent thoughts, to think creative thoughts. And in a society where people fear having those thoughts, uh, the likelihood of being able to enjoy progress is significantly diminished. Now, do you really think that if the technocrats of this fourth industrial Re revolution were actually able to merge man with machine and have the ability to literally control your thoughts and emotions that they wouldn't do it? Of course, it'll be sold as, you know, the greatest scientific achievement in history, helping the blind to see and uh, helping the disabled to walk. Uh, but history shows us that things which could be used to benefit humanity are all too often weaponized and used against it. So once again, going back to the Netflix children's show, is this predictive programming? Is this conditioning our children for the coming digitalized dystopian future enslavement of humanity? Or is this a warning? Share your thoughts below. You can follow my work on BitChute, Twitter, and ActivistPost.com. I'm Spiro. Thanks for watching. Good evening. I can see some of you are still busy with checking the WhatsApp messages on your phones. What if I tell you, in the future, you might not even have to hold your phone in your hand to do this? If you had the choice, would you implant your smartphone into your head? Let us do a thought experiment and try to imagine what it would be like if we lived in a world where this would be possible. In that world, you could access all the functions of your phone using your thoughts. Everything that you usually see on the screen would be displayed into your visual space. Sitting here and listening to me, you can look up who was this guy called Elon Musk again, just by thinking about him. The answer, including a nice picture of Mr. Musk, would instantly be displayed in front of you. With a quick thought command, you can share what you see and hear with a friend in Hong Kong who can participate as if he would be here with us.